All right, hi everybody. I uh, hope you're doing great. Before we get into lesson 2-2, which is more of equations, right? I felt like yesterday, right, when we did a whole bunch of equations uh, beforehand or at the end there, that really helped us um, get through the, the, the main part of the lesson. So before we dive into 2-2 today, folks, you're going to have this worksheet in front of you. Just like yesterday, I'm going to go through all of the uh, odd problems, and then I want you guys to work through the even problems, okay? So um, some of these first couple, one, three, five, look like yesterday's, all right? The rest of them are all going to be brand new. So we're going to have ones with fractions, ones with decimals, uh, one with regular integers. So... Again, develop good habits. I cannot stress this enough. My last uh, period class of the day did a great job at it. Uh, four or five, right? You guys need to do a better job. If you show me your work, I can easily help you. If you don't show me any work, just like on number one, hey, I got N equals four. Well, if the right answer is 204, I have no idea how you got that. So show me your work, okay? All right, here we go. So uh, just like yesterday, here's my line. All right, find your variable. Well, today it happens to be over here, right? Here it is right here. Remember, it's negative 4.9. All right, I need to move 6.3 to the other side, right? I call this blue line that I drew through the equal sign, that's the brick wall. If you're gonna go across the brick wall, you've gotta do the opposite. So what's the opposite of positive 6.3? Well, that's negative 6.3. All right, so we're going to take that number over here on the other side, this negative 84.84, and we're going to subtract 6.3 from it. When we do that, that's negative uh, 91.14, and that's equal to this negative 4.9n. All right, all we have to do now, divide by our coefficient. Divide by our coefficient, so divide by negative 4.9 divide by negative 4.9 and I get n equals uh, 18.6 maybe if I can draw a 6 who knows n equals 18.6 alright show your work circle your answer right anything less than what I just wrote down is not good enough absolutely not good enough okay you've got to show me that all right, uh, this isn't just a, hey, I'm going to hold a calculator and, and figure this out all on my own, okay? Find your variable on number three. Here it is, right? Again, you should be working these out because two and four and six are going to be very similar to one and three and five. The numbers are going to be changed, right, to uh, protect the innocent, as they would say. So uh, this negative 3.6 right needs to go across the brick wall as the opposite thing okay so when it does that it goes across as an adding 3.6 plus 3.6 so take your negative uh, 13.63 and let's add 3.6 to that that equals uh, what 10.03 and that's 1.7 n okay from here divide by your coefficient 1.7 divided by 1.7, right? Order makes a difference, guys. It's not 1.7 divided by 10.03, all right? And sorry, this should be a negative 10.03, by the way, for those of you paying attention. Divide that uh, negative 10.03 by 1.7, and I get negative 5.9. Again, show your work. Circle your answer, okay? Number five. Okay, uh, here we go. I've got two variables. Now, are these variables, um, these are like terms, so we're going to combine them as they are. Remember, if we're not going across the brick wall, we just combine these like terms uh, by whatever the signs say. So in this case, it's negative 2 plus 6. Negative 2 plus 6, that's how many x's we're left with. Negative 2 plus 6 is just 4x. All right, we didn't do anything with 12, right? Now it's divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 3, okay? We didn't do anything different on 5 that we didn't do on 1 and 3. We just had cleaner, nicer numbers, all right? Okay, um, so we should be good with these. 
Let's move on up. Moving on up. Here we go. Looks a little crooked. All right, great. Okay. Um, study number seven. Why is it different? Why is it different? Well, I for one, I see six terms. Three on the left, three on the right. Um, I see like terms on both sides. I see variables on both sides. That's what lesson 2-2 two, two is all about. Variables on both sides. So we're going to get really good at combining like terms. So that's my first step. F combine like terms that are on the same side. So on the left-hand side, here are your like terms right here. And pay attention to their signs. Right? Negative 5 doesn't have a like term, so it just stays put. Positive 2x minus 6x. So 2 minus 6 is negative 4x. All right? That is equal to, again, here's your like terms right here. Nobody's a like term with x. Don't lose that. Uh, positive 7 plus 8 is a positive or plus 15. Okay, this is what today is all about. I've got variables on both sides, left and right. I've also got numbers on both sides, left and right. I need to bring them together, right? I need to bring my variables to one side. I need to bring my numbers to the other side. I'm telling you now, it makes no difference if I move variables to the left or variables to the right. It makes no difference at all. <laughs> Um, if it were me, I would say let's just move the smaller coefficient. But you know what? Let's even just, you know what? Let's always move variables to the left and numbers to the right. Right? Let's just do that. So in other words, I want to move this x over here. And then I need to take this 5 and it's got to move over there. Now again, both of these are going to go across the brick wall. So you've got to do the opposite. So we'll start on the left hand side. What's the opposite of subtracting 5? or negative 5. Well, it would be positive 5. All right? Add 5. Don't try to do all of this in one step. Okay? Equals x combine these two terms now. 20. Okay? Now I'm going to move, right? Now I'm going to move this x over here. It's a positive x. So the opposite of that is right negative x or subtracting an x. So negative 4x minus 1x, you bet, negative 5x. Okay, it goes away here, and I'm just left with 20. Negative 5x equals 20. Divide by your coefficient. Divide by your coefficient. x equals negative 4. Perfect. Number 9. Again, we got a little bit more going, a little less going on here on number five, right? Number five, you know, really kind of looks like what we had right here. Again, move your variables uh, to the left, numbers to the right. First things first, though, right here, do I have like terms? Yes, you do. Okay, combine them. Negative five plus two. Negative five plus two. Negative three x equals didn't do anything with these two terms on the right now we're gonna move negative 5x over here we're gonna do that with addition what's the opposite of negative 5 positive 5 right positive 5x so here we're gonna add 5x so negative 3x plus 5x is a positive 2x all right, that went away, and I'm left with, be careful, negative 14. Divide by 2, divide by 2. X equals negative 7. All right, show your work. Circle your answer. Okay. Um, good on 7 and 9. Let's check out, oh, no, for actions. Sweet. I love, I love me some fractions. Okay. Uh, here's our line. Think about who's got to move. So let's move uh, this one, 3 halves x, across the brick wall to the other side. It's a positive 3 halves, 
So we're going to subtract, right, 3 halves x. Do the same thing over here, minus 3 halves x. Your calculator cares not uh, about these fractions, right? So negative 5 thirds, and we are going to subtract uh, 3 halves. Remember to use your ABC button, okay? We had a good laugh about that in my last class of the day. You people know who you are. Um, so I get negative 3 and 1 sixth. Remember, this is x. Don't lose your variable. Plus uh, 3 halves equals, remember this went away, 5 thirds. Somebody figure out the mistake I just made. Look on the right-hand side. Okay. Mm hmm. Be careful, right? This is negative or minus five thirds, so don't lose your sign here. Okay. Uh, from here, I need to move three halves over here to the right. It's a positive three halves, so we do the opposite: minus or negative three halves. Okay. Again, your calculator cares not. It'll say, "Hey, negative five thirds." minus three halves is ooh interesting number I do say uh, this turns into negative three and one sixth okay I'm gonna write everything over here so I've got negative three and one sixth x equal to negative three and one sixth all right um, we're going to divide by our coefficient, right? This negative 3 and 1 6. Now, normally, I would say make this into an improper fraction or into a decimal, right? Um, and, and go from there. But maybe we can use just a little bit of intuition to say if I'm going to divide this number by itself, what should it turn into? Now, be careful. It's a negative being divided by another negative. So when we divide those, all right, yes, we get 1. Okay, uh, let's take a look at 13. All right, here's my line. Look on your left-hand side. Here are my like terms, right? Find your like terms. If you don't have any like terms on either side, left or right, start moving your variables to the left. Start moving your numbers to the right. Combining these like terms, I get... 4x plus 10 thirds. I didn't do anything, all right, on the right-hand side, so just keep it as x minus 8 thirds. Okay, let's move this x over here. Variables move to the left. It's a positive x, so we need to do the opposite of that, negative x, or subtract an x. 4x minus an x is 3x. All right, 10 thirds, we didn't mess around with that yet. My x's went away, and again, watch your sign. This is negative 8 thirds. Okay, 10 thirds now, going to move to the right. So we're going to uh, subtract 10 thirds, right? Subtract 10 thirds, subtract 10 thirds. Oh, look, these are already common denominators. This makes me super happy. Okay, I end up with 3x on the left is equal to negative 8 thirds minus 10 thirds. Uh, that's negative 18 thirds, right? Negative 18 thirds, also known as what whole number? Okay, divide by your coefficient. Divide by your coefficient, x equals negative 2. Okay. This is amazingly fun. All right, here we go. Back to some decimals here. All right. I don't have any like terms on the left-hand side, nor do I have any like terms on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and move... Uh, this variable term, 2.4b, across the brick wall, do the opposite. It's a positive 2.4, or we're adding it, so we will 
subtract 2.4b. Subtract 2.4b. Okay, 3.9 minus 2.4. Uh, I'll say is 1.5b plus 5.7. Again, didn't do anything with that. I got rid of this, um, negative 2.4. Okay, now my numbers need to move together. So 5.7 needs to move to the right. We're adding it here, so we're going to subtract it. We're going to do the opposite. 5.7. Okay, so again, negative 2.4 minus 5.7, right? Be careful. This is uh, negative 8.1, I think. And I've got 1.5b. 1.5b equals negative 8.1. Divide by your coefficient, and you're done. All right? Divide by your coefficient, and you're done. So divide by 1.5 b is equal to negative 5.4 okay 17 um, left side of the equation has no like terms do I have any like terms on the right side of the equation yes you do right here Okay, again, watch your signs. This is a positive 3.9, all right, and then it's a negative or a minus 7.3. So 3.9 minus 7.3, right, is, well, here, let's, let's write the rest of this, negative 9.38 minus 3.4, all right? That's what that turns into. Don't lose your variable. 49 P plus 1.72. We didn't do anything with the left-hand side, so just leave it where it is for now. Now, we need to move this variable term over here through the brick wall. Opposite of negative 3.4 is positive 3.4. So that means we're going to add 3.4 P. Okay? So negative 4.9 plus that 3.4, uh, negative 1.5. That's wrong. Just let me know tomorrow or the next day. All right, variables go away. I'm left with negative 9.38. And now finally, this 1.72 gets to go across the brick wall, right? So again, we're going to go ahead uh, and take negative 9.38 and subtract 1.72, right, from both sides, because that's the opposite of adding 1.72. And this gives me negative 11.1. All right, these went away, and I have negative 1.5p equals negative 11.1. Divide by your co coefficient, so negative 11.1, right, divided by negative 1.5 as I run out of room. All right, uh, let's see, negative 1.5 is 7.4. Whew. All right. And we've almost made it. Here we are on the very last one. Uh, why does this one look weird? Well, uh, this has distributive property in it. Again, this is another thing from seventh grade. So I don't have any like terms on the right hand side. I'm gonna have some here on the left hand side but the first thing I need to do is simplify this part of my expression, okay? Leave the four alone and again distributive property says multiply this number negative two into both terms n and three. Alright, so negative two times n is negative two n Negative 2 times a positive 3, right? This 3 really keeps that sign. So negative 2 times a positive 3 is negative 6. And just by doing that one step, now this looks like some equations that we've done already. So still, the right-hand side, no like terms. On the left-hand side, let's go ahead and combine our like terms. This one, that one. It's a positive 4, it's a minus 6, it's a negative 6. So 4 minus 6 is 
negative 2 minus 2n, right, equals our right-hand side. Now, here we go, variable, moving to the left, so opposite of minus 7n is plus 7n, plus 7n, okay, negative 2, you just stay put, uh, negative 2 plus 7, negative 2 plus 7 is a positive 5, don't lose your variable, equals, uh, let's see, that went away, negative 12. Okay, let's move negative 2 over here to the right. So it's a negative 2. The opposite is positive 2. Positive 2. Okay, 5n equals negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. Divide by your coefficient, and you are all done. Negative 2. Okay, so look, guys, here's the deal. Show your work. Right, circle your answer. You should have uh, some really good examples now. All right, for all of these problems. Okay, look here they all are. I did all of them. All the odds that is. Um, here's what I want you guys to do. Right, I want you guys to work on uh, this side. So you guys are going to. Yep. Uh, this side over here, this is all you, okay? Me. Okay, uh, so you guys work on that. Um, pause this. In about 15 seconds, I will show you all the answers, all right, to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This doesn't mean, hey, I'll just get the answers and write them in. This means you getting better. Right by doing these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, these ten problems. Guys, I need you to do ten problems for me. Okay? It'll take you ten to fifteen minutes. Turn the video back on, check your answers. Alright, if you missed it, look and and see, okay, yep, here's what I did wrong. I thought it could have been one of these two answers. Okay. Um then we should be good to go. Okay? carry out with the rest of our day, right? The video for 2-2 uh, cut off the last part of the key concepts. So when I say, hey, we'll do these last three and then it doesn't do them, that's okay. All right, it's everything's gonna be fine. All right, so go through the rest of our day, work on lesson 2-2, watch that video. Guys, I know it's a boring day. Do your best work, all right? So pause this, do those 10, uh, come back and I'll give you the answers, okay? No, really, you have to pause this. Go do your work. Okay, go. Okay, here are your answers. Voila. All right. Uh, hopefully all the ones that uh, I did, we got right. Uh, but here's your answers for all the evens. So two, four, six, eight, so on and so forth. Okay. So see how you did there. Uh, again, if you're not sure... And you know your neighbor got one of them right that you didn't get right. Just ask them. It's it's a, it's okay. You know. Um, so f you know once you're done here, now hopefully the equations that are on the lesson, all right, for two dash two aren't as scary when we see them because we're more familiar with them. That's why we just did this. Okay. So anyway, uh, you guys have a great rest of the day. Work hard. Best behavior. All right, and I will see you guys very soon.